Tonight, this man, Kyler Yu, sits behind bars. Police hope he will give them information into the disappearance of Jessica Runyons. Previously, police questioned him in the disappearance of Belton teenager Kara Kopetsky. Uh, when I first heard he was arrested and in custody, I felt a sense of relief because uh, it's early on in Jessica's investigation. She still hasn't been located or found, and they have the person she was last seen with. It is a story we've been closely following here at 41 Action News. And 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel is in Benton County where Eust remains in custody. And Brian, what are we learning about the investigation today? Well, the latest is that use is still in this building right here. This is the Benton County Jail in Warsaw, Missouri. He is waiting for KCPD to come pick him up and transfer him to Kansas City. Now, he is now officially charged with burning Runyon's SUV. Now, take a look at this picture that should be showing up on your screen here. This is the latest mugshot of use. Today, I talked with a Benton County Sheriff's employee who told me it appears he has burns on his face. Use has not been charged with anything else related to Jessica's disappearance. And it's been four days now since she was last seen with use leaving a party. Here are other pieces left from where police found Runyon's burnt Equinox near 95th and Blue River Road early Saturday. KCPD towed away the rest of it to look for evidence and issued that warrant for use. Use is also connected to another missing woman, Kara Kopetsky. The two had dated, but she asked for a protection order only a few days before she vanished in 2007. And today, we talked to Kara's parents about use's arrest. Now that he's in custody, hopefully they're interviewing him and getting him to give up and fi find out where Jessica is and possibly even get some more information about Kara. Now, we've been here throughout the day to see if investigators would start the process of transferring use. So far, no signs of KCPD, and today they've declined to comment on the case. Reporting live in Benton County, Brian Abel, 41 Action News.